And back here uh, live uh, on set here in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, we are joined by the NRA Youth Ambassadors. Now, there are so many youth ambassadors that they can't all fit around the table. So uh, Cameron Gray is uh, going to help out here. And uh, thank you all for, for showing up today. Uh, let's just kind of go down the list here. If you guys can uh, introduce yourselves and, uh, and tell us where you're from. I'm Thomas Cunningham from Amarillo, Texas. All right. Uh, Courtney Anthony from Lexington, Nebraska. Garrett Walters from Burr Oak, Michigan. Henry Gents from Cincinnati, Ohio. Tyler Ebert from Wausau, Wisconsin. And I'm Bailey Connor from Malta Bend, Missouri. Well, thank you all very much for, uh, for coming here. Uh, I'll, I'll let uh, any one of you who wants to answer this question uh, just, just start chiming in, but what is the, the Youth Ambassador Program all about? Who wants to take that one? All right, Bailey, you go ahead. Um, I think the biggest part of the Youth Ambassador Program is just we're trying to get the word out, trying to get younger members involved and just kind of giving them something to go for. So so, so you are, we, we talk on this program about ambassadors for the Second Amendment. That's exactly what you all are, ambassadors for the Second Amendment, ambassadors for the NRA, for people your age. Yes, we represent the youth and we represent the other organizations that have relationships with the NRA. Okay. Now, uh, Henry, how did you become uh, a youth ambassador? Well, I uh, learned about the ambassador program at uh, the NRA Youth Education Summit this summer, and uh, uh, I was given the opportunity to uh, find out about it there, and um, my dad got an email from somebody saying, do you know anybody who would be interested in doing this? So he uh, gave it to me. He showed me it. And I said, sure, I'll do it. So that's how I became the ambassador. So, uh, uh, Ty, what are some of the things that you do as an ambassador? Um, as an ambassador, we do a number of things. First off, we're around here advertising our position, advertising sports to the youth organizations. In addition to that, we also are doing many product tests and stuff to make the um, organizations grow. In addition... We also go back to our organizations and share a little bit of what we've experienced. All right. Uh, and uh, you're obviously, obviously, are a uh, member of the Boy Scouts, right? Yes. Uh, the, the shooting sports of the Boy Scouts, a very long history. In fact, last summer, the uh, Jamboree at Fort AP Hill in Virginia, mm -hmm. huge uh, event for the Boy Scouts. Were you able to, to attend that? I was, and I had an excellent time at the shooting sports. Yeah? Oh, that's fantastic. You know, uh, and he's an Eagle Scout, by the way. We should notice that. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That, uh, congratulations. That is an incredible achievement. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, uh, Garrett, uh, I want to ask you a question. What, uh, what, what's been the best part about being a youth ambassador for you? Um, I feel the best part is just getting the word out there um, that the shooting sports into the youth is very important because, I mean, you go to the SHOT Show and you look around and the majority of the people here are, are older. And uh, it's very important to and incorporate the youth and keep, keep the shooting sports a strong yeah. strong. Uh, Deal. Now, now, how did how did uh, uh, yeah? Let's talk to uh, to Thomas for a second here. Uh, uh, Thomas, how did you get involved in shooting? What, was it scouting that actually got you started? Uh, scouting, yes, and uh, venturing is basically uh, what I came into. Uh, my my family's been in uh, scouting for as long as I can remember. Uh, my grandparents uh, are very involved. Larry and Donna Cunningham very involved in scouting and uh, shotguns and uh, rifles. Just really took to me and hunting and all the fun stuff that goes with it. And, and Cordy, what about you? How did you get started? I actually got started in 4-H. Oh, really? And uh, competed in Junior Olympics, and that's kind of what got me into USA shooting then. So what's your discipline? Uh, pistol, air pistol and twenty two pistol. No kidding. So. Oh, that's fantastic. So are you guys having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's been the best part about SHOT Show? Let me guess, getting a chance to see all of the guns? I'm going to say media day. Media. Oh, did you get Getting to do to some shooting? Getting to actually shoot some really fun toys. Oh, you guys all got to go to media day yesterday. Not all of you. Not all of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you get a chance to go, Bailey? I didn't. You did um, not. My plane flew in a little bit later. Oh, okay. So what's, what, I missed out on all the so, fun. <laughs> not all of the fun. Not all the fun. You're going to have a lot of fun. Um, those of you who were out at media day yesterday, what was the, uh, the favorite thing you got to shoot? Think about that for a second here. There's this one gun known as the Nemesis. I'm not quite sure who produced it, but anyhow, it was a large sniper rifle which could be assembled into a small briefcase and then reassembled in less than 30 seconds. Very powerful, very amazing. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. 
And, and uh, anybody else? I also attended. Um, I have to say my favorite product that I tested, uh, it was out of Switzerland, Switzerland, I believe. It was a fully automatic uh, 45 ACP. And being in the States, it's not, not legal where I'm at from Michigan to sh have anything mm -hmm. or shoot anything like that. And that was very impressive. Did you get so. to shoot that camera? Was that the Sphinx that you were talking about? I think so. I think he's talking about the Sphinx. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good time. Excellent. So, so where are you guys headed after this? I know you have a very busy schedule. You're going to be back out on the floor? Yeah, I think we're headed back out on the floor and just keep talking to sponsors and trying to get more sponsors. When, when you all are talking to you know, your, your friends and other students, uh, uh, what, is, what do they ask about the NRA? What do they ask about uh, the, the shooting sports? Are they, are they curious? Do, you, do they ever bring it up to you? Or? I know in my community uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with shooting sports, and uh, that's what I think is really good about this program. You know, we get to spread the word, and uh, by getting to come to the SHOT Show, we get to go back and – spread the news like everyone else has said and uh really get the word out there you know because most people don't know about it yeah and outside of the the the, the practical side uh of the second amendment the 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 philosophical side are do your the 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 people that your age that uh, that you talk to um do you think they've got a, a a strong grasp of the constitution of the bill of rights and the the freedoms that we all have in this country i I come from Missouri, so personally, like, everybody that goes to school with me, everybody hunts, everybody owns a firearm, so I think that in Missouri, personally, they do, but when you go to those bigger states where there's more people that it's not quite so rural, I think that's where we run into the problem, and that's the people that we need to inform yeah. about shooting sports. Well, listen, uh, thank you all for, uh, for joining us today. Keep up the great work, and congratulations on uh, being NRA Youth Ambassadors. That's a, a big achievement, uh, and I know that uh, you guys will do great. I'm so glad you could be with us today, and look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. The uh, NRA Youth Ambassadors here with us on uh, Cam & Company.